Okay, here we go. Summer and work. Now, what this has to do with dividing fractions, I don't know, but they're trying to teach dividing fractions here. Let's see. Rashid takes a customer order. There we go. There's a diverse name. Customer order for ribbon badges. It takes one six yard to make a ribbon for a badge. How many ribbon badges can be made from the given amounts of ribbon? Describe what fraction of part of an answer means. Uh, how many six yards fit in one half yard and three quarters? Two and two thirds. Uh, yeah, they don't really explain how you would do that. Let's see. Now they're going to order a bow for a bow. She used two thirds of a yard. How many bows can she make from each of the following amounts of ribbon? Four fifths, one and three quarters, two and one thirds. Uh, other than using fraction strips, uh, they don't really give you much of a way to do that. They don't even show you how to use it using fraction strips. Then you get to solve these. Three fourths times divided by this divided by this divided by this. Uh, I suppose you could do that with fraction strips, but they don't show you. Okay, which algorithm makes sense for dividing any fraction by any fraction? I don't know. You know, they might give us a clue. Here we go. Now they're trying to divide them. We're using now we're using common denominators to divide. I've never seen that before. Okay, using Alicia's method, solve three fifths plus one third. Okay, so this is Alicia's method. I never heard of that. That's uh, you can look that up in college. Now the parents letters is all you have to do is invert and multiply, but it's not here. Okay, guess what? You get to write a division algorithm. Then you can see if there is one big algorithm that will solve them all. That sounds like something from the uh, the uh, the ring. So here we go. It's interesting. Now, if you look for the um, here we go. There's denominators in the glossary, but common denominator, lowest common denominator is not there. There's equivalent fractions. But equivalent fraction is not the same as a common denominator. There's a fact family. Uh, what this has to do with fractal strength, I re really don't know. And here's our index uh, estimation. Here we go. Algorithm. Algorithm for adding fractions. If we go to page 223, there's no method given. It says you get to come up with an algorithm. There's another one here. Here's denominator on 66. The common denominator and lowest denominator are not in the index. They're not in the book. You get to draw pictures, fractions, justify and explain a method. There's an investigation for adding and subtracting fractions. There's, uh, there's more investigations, justify or explain method. There's a getting close game, multiplication, algorithm. Again, it means you write it. There's no algorithm given. Here's another one. Here's the rest of our index. Uh, it's numerator, number line, problem solving strategies, pictorial model. There's reciprocal as mentioned, but is reciprocal is not used for, um, they mention it, but they don't mention that you can use that to multiply a fraction for some reason. This is interesting. Now here's your, this is your do not panic letter. Dear family, Charles Storrs, class this year is blah, 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 second part three numbers. Unit goals is focused on understanding developing systematic ways to add, subtract. It's developing. While working with these students, investigate interesting problems, blah, 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 helping with the homework. What models or diagrams? What is reasonable estimate for the number? And most parents throw this away. You can help your child with his or her several ways, blah, blah, blah. There are various logical computer procedures. You can sometimes be working with ideas and algorithms that are different from the ones you learn. Be open to these approaches. Encourage a child to share these methods with you as a way to help them make sense of what they are studying. Now, in the first edition, it says absolutely do not tell them any standard methods. It will mess them up. But here, it's okay. It's just be open to the new ones. Look over your child's homework and make sure all questions, our answer and explanations are clear. Oh, that's great. There is no explanation in the book. Now, this is interesting. Now, after I was about to throw it away, I checked the back of this. What does it say in the back? Okay, important concepts. Students learn to find common denominators so the numerators can be added or subtracted. That's the standard method. So over here, to find the sum on the rectangle, seeing that you see equivalent fraction, rename the one half as four eight. The area model helps visualize this. What is that? That's an example, which is not on the book. Now why did they put it here? Here we go, you want a multiplication algorithm. They can just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators of proper fractions. Okay. And there's a picture here, and it shows the denominators for partition whole. This is not in the book. Denominator. You can do that. It shows them exactly how to do that, but it's not in the book. 
Here's another one here. Division algorithm. Our goal is the development of algorithms is to help students develop an efficient algorithm. Common denominator approach. Now, this is not standard. Nobody uses common denominators to divide. That is just silly. I've never seen that. Now, here we go. Now, you can multiply the denominator dividing by the numerator. Now, this is actually a standard method. Okay, and what that really means is that you can turn it up, take your number, and turn it upside down, but they don't quite explain it that way. Now, this is what we hear. Multiplying the reciprocal. We've seen that 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths above gives the same result as 2 thirds times 5 fourths. This is the standard method, but it is not in the book. And again, the teacher's not even supposed to tell the student. The student's supposed to come up on their own. So this is the way they've written this crazy book. Now, by contrast, here's a Saxon book. Math 7, 6, and criminal development. Okay, these are your two authors. No picture. Okay. What else does it have? Okay, there's no pilot districts. It doesn't have eight authors. It's not reviewed by 40 teachers. It's not NCTC compliant. There is no problem solving. It's black and white. There are no pictures of people. There are no diverse names. Okay.